my gosh, we're almost late for story time in that saddle, are I love story time. <laughs> oh, yeah, me too, me too. I hope it's a robot story. <laughs> robot story. I love robot stories. Okay, okay. Is everyone ready to read Sleeping Beauty? Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Once upon a time, there um, was... Um, uh, Sleeping Beauty? Miss Booksy, mm -hmm. I have uh -huh. a question. Harry has are a question. There, are there robots in Sleeping Beauty? Um, no. Oh. Well, there are no robots in Sleeping Beauty. I, I heard, I heard. It's okay. Uh, I'm sure it's a very nice story anyway. You go ahead and... Of course there are no robots. It's an amazing story about taking a huge nap. And then, when you wake up, finding true love in spite of an evil witch fairy! <laughs> really? Well, you know, that could have been an evil robot, you know, but it's okay. Go ahead, Miss Benzie. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. thanks, Miles. You're welcome. Here we go again. Sleeping Beauty. Once upon a time, a beautiful little baby princess was... Oh, 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 can we be in the story? Can we be in the story? Is there a good part I could play? Oh, me too. Me too. Oh, yeah, well, if there too, are yeah. any parts being handed out, I know a young thespian who would relish the opportunity to perform. Relish? Let's be something? What? what? <laughs> sure, guys. Uh. There are some great parts you can play. Miles, you can be a fairy. Oh, well, <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How about uh, being the king? <gasps> king? Yeah, that you're talking. <laughs> Since king. you're the king, uh, can you also be a nice fairy? Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, fine, as long as I'm the king. Well, I don't care what I am. No, I totally do. Can I be the prince? There's always a prince. Well, you're right. There is a prince, and you're him. <gasps> or he's you. Or... Something. Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> and Eleanor, I'm thinking you can be the evil fairy. Oh, perfect! <laughs> Watch out, guys. <laughs> I think you might be too nice to be an evil fairy. Oh, you'll see, you'll see. Okay, Sleeping Beauty, take oh, yeah. two. <laughs> Once upon a time, a beautiful little baby princess was born in a magical kingdom. The king and queen invited the seven fairies. You know, the magic fairies who come to bless the little babies. Fairy, is that me? Nope, not yet. Just a sec. Okay. Miles, it's your turn. Whoa, here I am. <laughs> wow, the wings are actually, actually pretty cool. <laughs> Anywho, so all the fairies were invited. Well, all except for one fairy who hadn't responded to, like, any invitations recently. I mean, that fairy never shows up, so why even bother inviting her? That turned out to be a bad idea. Well, the uninvited fairy... Eleanor, you're the unhappy fairy! <laughs> so, she found out about the blessing party and got super annoyed that she wasn't invited. So she crashed the party. Not only did she crash it, she showed up really late, right in the middle of the king's flute solo. And instead of a blessing, she had put a curse on the baby. Toil and trouble, my curse upon you shall bubble! Instead of growing up to be something special and having fame that will linger, you will touch a spindle and get pricked on the finger. And then you will sleep for 100 years in a big snoring heap! And if you're lucky, a prince will wake you and you'll think he's neat! Oh, I almost forgot this. To totally 100% break the spell, the prince has to give you a kiss! As you can see, it was a pretty evil curse. The princess would get pricked by a spindle! Ouch! <laughs> and sleep for a hundred years? And after all that time, she could only be awoken by a prince who kisses her? Ugh! A hundred years of sleeping and there's still a catch. Ugh! The king was like, To avoid that mean fairy curse, there shall be no spindles allowed in this kingdom. So the little princess grew up into me! <laughs> so, I'm chilling. No spindles around. I wouldn't even know one if I saw one. Seriously, like, what's a spindle? <laughs> this turned out to be a problem because there was one little old spinster who didn't get the memo. I didn't know. Nobody told me. 
One day, I saw her spinning away, making the most beautiful thread for the most beautiful gown. I asked her, hey, could I try your cool spinning machine thing? <laughs> and as fate would have it, <gasps> I pricked my finger. Uh-oh, I think that's a spindle. Ugh. Oh dear, that's not good. My parents were devastated. Rather than have life go on for the 100 years while I was sleeping, they asked one of the nice fairies to put a sleeping spell on the whole castle so we could all wake up together. Miles, that's you again. If a prince doesn't kiss her, we're going to be weepy. But for the next hundred years, we're going to be sleepy. Okay, fast forward the story to exactly 99 years and 11 months and 30 days later. This very nice prince from a nearby kingdom was checking out the local real estate and saw the enchanted castle just peeking out from behind the jungle there. Yep, I'm just a handsome prince doing princely stuff. Hey, what's that over there? Looks like an enchanted castle. I better call my dad, the king. Hey, Dad! Um, well, this is the king. Who's this? It's Harry. Oh, Harry, my boy. Yeah, what can I do for you? What's up with the enchanted-looking castle on Sleepy Lane? Oh, you mean the one with the brambles and the trees and the kudzu all over it? That's the one. Oh, yeah, well, now that you mention it, uh, oh, hey, what day is it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, totally slipped my mind. Okay. There's a princess in there, cursed to sleep for a hundred years. And she needs a prince to wake her up and give her a kiss. Really? Boomer. Hey, wait a second, I'm a prince! <laughs> oh yeah, fantastic coincidence that is. Hey, uh, would you mind? You wanna go be a prince? Wake her up? Oh. Well, it is the princely thing to do. That's my Thanks, boy. Dad! <laughs> Okay, Harry, this is a really important part. Are you ready? Am I ready? Are you kidding? You're talking to the prince. Oh, boy. Uh, okay, I don't want to startle her. So, um, oh, boy, I mean, a hundred years is an awful long time to sleep. Uh, she might be really grumpy. Uh, okay, I'm trying to do this. Wakey, wakey! Time to wake up! Hello! You've been asleep for a hundred years! Time to wake up and smell the coffee! Oh, oh coffee! Oh, maybe I should make some coffee. Where's the, uh, the kitchen? Kitchen, yes! <laughs> Well, that woke me up. <laughs> good, good morning. I uh, I hope you don't mind, but I had to, I had to wake you, and um, now I uh, I have to uh, kiss you in order to completely break the spell. I'm I'm so sorry. Uh, it's 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 kind of what I have to do. I mean, I didn't I didn't cast the evil spell. I just um. Uh, mm. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> wow, suddenly I was awake and happy. The evil curse was broken. It only took a hundred years. <laughs> Miles, <clears throat> now. Oh, 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 yeah. Tis I, Miles, I mean, the good fairy. I've come to bless you with happiness. You will get married and live happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who put that there? Oh, oh. sorry about that. That's uh, okay, I'm good. Huh. It was the stuff fairy tales are made of. True love at first sight. The prince and I got married, and when we had our own little baby, we made sure to have a strict no curse policy. Okay, I'm here for the party. Oh, 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 is that a picture? Oh, no, no, that's not me. That's a mother bunny. Oh, this, this wand. Oh, no, 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 I don't have a wand. No, 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 I'm a good fairy. Yeah, I only put good curses on.
on, people. Come on, let me in! Oh, man. The end. <laughs> what a great job, you guys. <laughs> we have a new student. This is Katie. Well, hi, Katie. Welcome to story time. Hi, Miss Booksy. <laughs> okay, let's see if the boys and girls at home are ready for a new story. Are you ready for a new story? <laughs> Maybe we need a drum roll. Okay, and get ready for the story of Aladdin and the Magical Lamp. Aladdin the Dinosaur. Ah! Um, no. <laughs> Here we go. Aladdin and the Magical Lamp. Once upon a time, long, long ago, there lived a totally awesome dude named Aladdin. Oh, wow, hey, I'm a totally awesome dude named Aladdin. <laughs> awesome, yes, but also very unlucky. Huh? Aladdin was always getting into trouble, like the time he accidentally stowed away on a pirate ship. Oh, that's a long way down. <laughs> oh, I like your hat. Or like the time he got swallowed by a whale. Oh, they got you too, huh? No, I quite like it in here. Yeah, I don't believe you. Or like this one time, he almost met a really cool princess, which, by the way, was a huge no-no. You see, the princess's father was a very bad king, and he wouldn't let the princess even talk to any of the poor townspeople. But Aladdin bravely walked up and said, Hi, I'm Aladdin, and you must be Princess... Whoa! A tiger! A tiger! A tiger! Run, Aladdin, run! Uh, <laughs> if only I could find a clever place to hide. Whoa, hey! Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, a cave. Huh. That was close. <laughs> Aladdin quietly crept further into the cave just to be totally 100% sure that the tiger couldn't find him. Only problem was, it was... Dark! Who turned out the lights? Jeez, I can't even see my... Whoa! I wish I had a nightlight. Did somebody say, I wish? <laughs> wow, how did that happen? Woo! Hey! Who are you? I am a genie, but you can call me Bob. You, uh, you fell on my lamp, must have, uh, rubbed it a little bit, because that's how these things work. Oh, and bonus, I'm also a magician. Want to see me pull a rabbit out of my hat? Oh, yeah, I love magic. Alakazambra Kapow. <laughs> uh, rabbit spell go. Hola, kids. Bunny Kazam! Ah, oh, put it back in there! Put it back in there! Put it back in there! Oh, 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 sorry, put it sorry. Back in there. It's a small cave. Sorry. I still have my learner's permit, but rest assured, I am a wonderful genie. Granting wishes is my speciality. Oh, and you have two more wishes, by the way. Two more wishes? Mm -hmm. Sounds. But be careful what you wish for. Not every wish is a good one. Like that kid that wished for nonstop pizza. Uh, too much pizza. Well, I'm going to wish for true love with the most beautiful girl in the world. The princess. She's so cool. I heard she has a trampoline and a pool and a golden retriever and an Xbox. She's so neat. Wait, I can't just show up looking like this. She's a princess and I'm just a poor boy from a poor family. So even if you cast your love spell, everyone will see that I'm not a rich prince. And they'll know my real secret, genie. Well, you still got two wishes left. Number one, wish to be rich. Number two, wish for the princess to love you. Mm -hmm. And three, please call me Bob. <laughs> oh, sure, Bob. No worries. Well, this is just all wrong. I want her to like me for me. I'm just gonna wish to get a chance to hang out with her. I wish... Uh, be careful what you wish for. I wish for a chance to hang out with the princess. <laughs> <laughs> you wish to hang out with the princess, so you're hanging out. Ah, uh, yes. Aladdin has just wished to hang out with the princess. And as you can see, they're quite literally hanging out. You wish to hang out with the princess, so 
You're hanging out. Well, I didn't mean to hang out the window. <sighs> Don't get mad at me. Next time, be more specific. <gasps> um, hello. A little less talking, a little more rescuing. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry. Um, I'll save you, princess. <sighs> okay. Huh? How do I do that, Bob? A little help here. Well, I have to say, I wish. <laughs> and use my last wish? Well, you could try some magic. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Alakazam! Uh, oh, there's my bunny. <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, Abracadabra! Oh, that's not right. Oh, oh, I wish I could save Aladdin and the princess. <laughs> okay, that worked. Cool. I did not know I could grant my own wishes. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so crazy. Oh, totally. It's so weird. I have no idea how that happened. <laughs> Wait a minute. I recognize you. I I've seen you before. You're Aladdin. <gasps> and who is this? Oh, 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 oh no, oh no. The jig is up. Uh, 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 he's a genie, uh, and his name is Bob. And he... And so Aladdin explains the whole situation about Bob the genie and the wishes. He told the princess he really just wanted to get to know her and hang out and probably play video games just for a bit. Maybe use the castle pool and water slide and trampoline for a few times. No big deal, but he really just wanted her to like him. And I understand if you want me to leave. Oh, I suppose I can use my last wish to just get out of here if that's what you want. Wait, you have a last wish? Yeah. <gasps> hey, we could share the wish. Huh, anything you want to do. We could go to Egypt and see the pyramids or go to Mars or to Disneyland or... <gasps> Whoa, what if I wish that we could fly around the world on a magic carpet ride? Gee, imagine that. A totally different place. Well, how about we wish that we could get married? Well, you could never marry a poor guy like me. Yes, I could. I think you're a total prince, and I don't care what anyone else says. Um, I'm not really supposed to help you think of wishes, but it seems like you two could uh, think about getting married later and then use that wish now to do something super duper crazy fun. I kind of like that Disney World idea. Have you guys ever been to Space Mountain? Oh yes, that's perfect. Thanks, Bob. Oh yeah, we owe you one. Okay, cool. Hey, does this mean I get to go to Disney with you? They get this whole new Frozen section. I am so there. Miss Booksy? Miss Booksy? Can I be in the story now? I want to go to Disneyland with Aladdin and the princess, too. <laughs> sure, of course you can. Let's go. Just wiggle your nose and snap your fingers like this. I have to bring my little sister, Katie. She loves Disney. Yeah! <laughs> we can go to the Bippity Boppity Boutique. <laughs> we? <laughs> I'll be at the Hall of Presidents. And that's how it all went down, kids. Aladdin and the princess, they really liked each other. They didn't need any love spells or riches. They were like two peas in a pod. They were like ice cream and hot fudge. They were like hamburgers and pickles. <laughs> Pizza and liver. Yeah! Okay, fine. You get the idea. <laughs> they liked each other. And this is the best part, kids. They all lived happily ever after. The end. Dance break, dance break, dance break, dance break. Okay, if you insist. Little Red? Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Little Red Riding Hood who loved her grandma more than just about anything in the whole wide world. She loved her this much. This much! <laughs> One day, her grandma got sick, so Little Red packed up a picnic basket of get well foods like chicken soup, orange juice, vitamins, ginger ale, and gummy bears. Okay, so maybe the gummy bears were actually for herself, but it was a very nice get well basket. Little Red Riding Hood set off for her grandma's house. She was about halfway there when out jumped a wolf. 
Don't worry, Little Red Riding Hood was trained in wolf karate, so she was not afraid. Going to a picnic? Nope, I'm going to my grandma's house because she's sick. I'm gonna take care of her. Well, aren't you nice? Yes, I am. Now buzz off. Hm. Can I have some of that chicken soup? No way! That's my grandma's soup, and I said scram! <laughs> the wolf ran off down the path, howling. Little Red Riding Hood was glad he was gone. She didn't have time to be bothering with any stinking wolves. She had to get to her grandma. When Little Red finally arrived, she skipped up to the front door and knocked. Grandma, it's me, Little Red. Oh, just a minute. Hmm, that didn't sound like her grandma. Then the door opened and well... <gasps> oh, hello, give Grandma a hug. Needless to say, she wasn't fooled. Where's my grandma? Don't be silly, child. I'm your grandmother. Now, if only I had some chicken soup. I already told you, you're not getting my grandma's chicken soup. Now, where is she? Hm. Little Red, I'm in here. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood looked all around. Where was Grandma's voice coming from? The closet? Under the bed? In the bathroom? The wolf stood there, patting his tummy. He burped. <laughs> then Little Red realized, You ate my grandma? <laughs> well, I, I swallowed her whole, actually. <laughs> I was just so hungry. Someone was being greedy with her chicken soup. Well, kids, Little Red Riding Hood didn't want it to come to this, but she was going to have to use her wolf karate. She bowed and went into her fighting stance. She took a deep breath. And then... What are you doing? She went full ninja on that wolf. He tried to run, but he was so full of grandma that he couldn't even go very fast. Please, stop. I, I don't know karate. This isn't fair. But I already swallowed her. You give my grandma back! And just like that, he threw up. <laughs> Out came grandma. She was just fine. A little icky, but alive. Little Red called the police, and they came and arrested the wolf. Grandma got better, and Little Red Riding Hood got a medal from the mayor for outstanding citizen bravery in a wolf battle. And her martial arts instructor upgraded her to a black belt with special stripes that meant she was extra good at karate. The end. Thanks for joining us today. I know you have a very busy schedule. Yes, yes, been very busy. Blowing down houses, scaring people, trying to find the candy, dressing up as grandmas. Okay. Uh, thanks for having me. Well, we wanted to give you a chance to clear the air, so to speak. You can try, but no matter what I do, everyone just thinks I'm bad. Aww. You're a changed man. <clears throat> I mean wolf. <laughs> then I want you to say three nice things about Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, come on. Ah, just give it a try. Okay, she's very nice visiting her grandma. She bakes yummy cookies, and she's a super duper fast runner. And frankly, I think she'd make a great dinner. Wow, that Little Red sounds pretty cool. Hi, boys and girls, Miss Booksy here. <laughs> We're here with a brand new chapter series for Storytime at Cool School. Excuse me, Storytime at Cool School and Sesame Street. Yeah, oh, Miss Booksy and Elmo are having a play day. Oh, we're going to read a book. Hey, Miss Booksy? Yes, Elmo? Oh, what book are we going to read? <gasps> we're reading Jack and the Beanstalk. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, Elmo loves Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> oh, can Elmo start? Of course. Okay. <clears throat> Once upon a time. Yeah, well, great job. You read that all by yourself? Oh, oh, Elmo can't read yet, Miss Booksy. Oh, but <laughs> Elmo knows that most books start with Once Upon a Time. <laughs> That's right, Elmo. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Once Upon a Time. There was a girl named Jack. My full name is Jacqueline Claire Rachel Cumberland Jones. <laughs> but my friends call me Jack, so that means you can call me Jack. <laughs> Jack lived in a nice little village called Smallstown. Hi, Mr. Smith. Hi, Jack. Hi, Miss Garcia. Hola, Jack. Nice weather, huh, old man McDonald? Sure is. What are you up to today, Jack? I'm on my way to the flea market. I've been saving up all my money, and now I'm gonna buy something super duper awesome. Well, that sounds exciting. Have fun. See ya. So Jack <laughs> skipped on towards the flea market. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's a flea market? Oh, is that a 
Market Bear Fleas Shop? Oh, or is that where you buy fleas? <laughs> no, not real fleas. Oh. A flea market is a place where you can buy all sorts of things like toys, uh -huh. musical instruments, oh. clothes, doodads, whatchamacallits, Rip pretty much air. anything you can think of. <laughs> <laughs> Play. Okay, back to the story. <laughs> But before Jack made it to the flea market, she saw this. Mr. Amazing's Magic Emporium? Hello there. Welcome to Mr. Amazing's Magic Emporium, your source for all your magic needs. I'm Mr. Amazing. Hi. I've never seen you in town before. You must be new. Welcome. I'm Jack. Thank you very much, Jack. Now, what can I get you? A magic wand? Abracadabra. <laughs> Or how about an invisibility cloak? Can't see me, can ya? I'm invisible. Or how about a magic classic? A bunny in a hat. Cute! How much? How much you got? My life savings. Interesting. How much are we talking? Hundreds? Thousands? <gasps> Millions? Three dollars. Oh, well, I'm afraid I can't help you. You can't? Nope. Magic costs a lot of money. I'm sorry. Well, thanks anyway. Hold on. I do have these magic beans for sale. Magic beans? What do they do? Give you superpowers like super strength or super speed or super x-ray vision? Yeah, sure, kid. And with that, Mr. Amazing took Jack's three dollars, gave her the beans, shuttered his car, and drove away! Well, that was odd, but never mind that. Now I have these magic beans. I better go home and put them somewhere safe. Back at home, Jack told her brother about the magic beans. There's no such thing as magic beans. Uh-huh, yes there are. I have some right here. Those are plain old lima beans. Nuh-uh. They're magic. Mr. Amazing said so. Yeah, might as well toss those out the window. It's not true that those beans are magic. Wait, Miss Booksy, wait! Did Mr. Amazing trick Jack? Boy, it's not very kind to trick somebody, is it? No, it's not. But maybe Mr. Amazing was telling the truth. Let's keep reading and we'll see. Yeah, okay. Oh, and maybe the magic beans are real. Oh, okay, back to the story. Jack thought her brother was probably right. She was so disappointed. Three dollars, her entire life savings, all gone. But Jack did what her brother said and tossed the beans out her window. <sighs> that night as Jack slept, something very curious, some might even say magical happened. One of the beans sprouted into a beanstalk. Okay, that part isn't that magical, but what happened next certainly is. The beanstalk grew up and up, way up into the sky, higher than any tree, straight up into the clouds. Miss Brooksy, look! The beanstalk is growing sideways into Jack's window. Huh? Oh boy, Emma just knew the magic beans were real. What do you think will happen next? Oh, um, Emma thinks that Jack will climb up the beanstalk, and then Emma thinks that, um, Emma thinks that, um, that Emma doesn't know. <laughs> well, we'll just have to read chapter two to find out. Yeah! Oh, Miss Brooksy, oh, can Alma please pretend to be a character in the next chapter? Please, please, please. Bye, everybody. It's story time. Oh, Alma and Miss Brooksy are going to read more about Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> That's right. It's time for chapter two of our story, coming to you from Sesame Street and Cool School. Yeah. Alma, do you want to do the recap of chapter one? A, a recap? Oh, what's a recap? Oh, is that when you put your hat back on? <laughs> no. A recap is when you remind everyone what happened last time in the story. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> well, Jack bought some magic beans from Mr. Amazing. Oh, but then Jack thought that maybe Mr. Amazing had tricked her. But then the beans grew into a beanstalk that went up and up and up and up and up into the sky. <laughs> That's right. So it looks like Mr. Amazing was telling the truth, after all. Yeah, those really were magic beans. Oh, okay, uh, so Miss Booksy, what happens next? Well, let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. Okay, this definitely seems like magic, right? Look, brother, a magic beanstalk. A uh, what? A beanstalk. Beans talk? What do they talk about? 
Oh, never mind. Gee, I wonder how far up it goes. Oh, there's only one way to find out. Jack decided she would just have to climb up to the top of the beanstalk. Snacks, gotta have energy to climb. <laughs> oh, some sunglasses because I don't know how high this beanstalk goes. The sun's probably much brighter up there. Plus, these make me look cool. And of course, my favorite book. You can't travel without some really good reading material. It's go time. Jack began her climb up the beanstalk. Be careful, Jack. She climbed and climbed and climbed until finally she made it to the top. Wow. I'm all the way above the clouds. I knew those magic beans were real. <laughs> Jack was so happy that she did her happy dance. Um, did I get smaller or is everything here way bigger? <laughs> I still feel my same size. Hmm, my clothes still fit. I better go exploring to see what this is all about. <laughs> Jack wandered around and sure enough, everything was giant. There was a giant house with a giant door and a giant welcome mat. <sighs> oh, oh, hey, there's a giant picnic basket and giant cookies. <laughs> I'll just take one teensy little bite. Wait a second. If all this stuff here is giant, then whoever lives here must be an actual giant. Oh, Miss Booksy, this could be Elmo's play. Elmo could play the giant. Good idea. <laughs> okay, where were we? Oh, here we go. All of a sudden, everything around started to shake. Uh, whoa. about a maybe new best friend that he did his yeah, happy baby. dance. <sighs> Phew, that was close, but I'm home now. And, oh no, I left my backpack up there. My most favorite favorite book in the world is in there. Oh, I guess I'll have to go back. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Miss Booksy, what'd you do that for? Why'd you go dun, dun, dun? <laughs> well, that's just the sound I make sometimes when we end a chapter right when something exciting is about to happen. <laughs> boy, boy, Elmo thought that the giant looked really friendly. Yeah, I think you might be right, Elmo. He kind of reminds me of someone. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> it's Elmo. <laughs> really? I was thinking it was Big Bird. <laughs> no, it's Elmo. <laughs> well, now I definitely can't wait to read chapter three. Yeah, boy, thinking about chapter three makes Elmo want to do Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs>